What's going on with the Kern River? Well, you're about to find out. This episode is brought to you by Kern River Fly Shop, the most reliable and accurate fishing report for the Southern Sierra and Kern River Valley area. Hey you guys, I wanted to uh, share this with you guys. I'm now using St. Croix fly rods. This just happens to be the new Evos and um, I'm using the six weight today here on the carp. As you guys can see behind me, we got some nervous water and that kind of stuff going on back here behind me. And I'm gonna be using a fly called a Carpalicious with this uh, new Evos fly rod. I got a chance to fish this new fly rod on the Green River for a week and it is an excellent rod. I'm super stoked on it. You guys will have to get a chance uh, to cast this, come into the shop, cast this fly rod and let us know what you think. Um, but I'm gonna go out right now and check out the carp fishing. And um, if you guys haven't seen the flats yet, um, the flats have literally filled up all the way to the airport, which I'm looking at right here. So pretty crazy. They're filling up the lake. The carp have moved in. They're actually a lot still spawning. And so I'm not going to target those. I'm going to target the ones that are tailing and feeding. Um, as you guys can see on this drone footage, you'll see the ones that I'm going to be targeting, the ones that are just kind of swimming around by themselves or the ones that we want to target. The water's super clear, so got to be real careful. Got to sneak around, kind of perch up, and kind of wait for the fish to come to you. So let's go check that out. After looking for carp, I saw some bass, so I switched over to using uh, a bass fly. And uh, one of the flies I like to use the most is this, the, the olive and white clouser. Great uh, bait fish imitation. And I started sticking a lot of bass. Some bass have moved into the shallows for sure. There's tons of them. Um, there's some pretty nice sized ones I saw swimming around, but a lot of uh, smaller ones like I'm catching right here. And uh, it's just a great uh, time. Uh, you can even fish some cool little poppers, some frog style poppers and, and have a really good time. Um, definitely look at the way that uh, I'm stripping here. I'm strip, strip, pause, strip, strip, pause, strip. Kind of making the uh, fly have some action and move kind of like it's uh, swimming through the water, kind of wounded kind of. And uh, it makes a big difference in uh, sticking fish for sure. So flows on the lower Kern are about 1600 and in my opinion that's flowing pretty good down there. Um, I would avoid fishing down there, although you can fish the edges, just be careful. Uh, water temperature is 67 degrees down there. Um, when they did bring the water down to about the 600 level, 800 level uh, last week, um, I fished down there and it was excellent, uh, great for smallmouth and largemouth. So something to check out. The upper current has flown about 2700 CFS and whitewater rafting is at uh, an all time high right now. There's tons of people doing that, having a great time doing the boating on the upper current. It's that time of year. Um, we can fish the edges. Um, the guides in the Kern River Fly Shop have been fishing the edges with their clients and they've been picking up uh, stock fish in these little areas where there's little eddy lines and stuff like that. So you can see right here in the middle of your screen, you know, to the left there, you can see the water's a little bit calmer. If you fish those little slower areas, you can pick up fish. And those slower areas are a great place to pick up fish. Um, and you can see here, I just put a little marker here to fish right here. Fish in uh, stonefly patterns, um, pheasant tails, things like that, um, you will have a great time. The tungsten yellow sally is a great fly. It's in the shop, come and get it. Even over here, across the river, over by River Nook, you could fish right here. You have a little eddy line right here. You can fish that, um, drift your nymphs through there. 
even throw some dry flies. Um, we got yellow sally starting to hatch. Uh, PMDs are starting to hatch. Um, we will, of course, have blooming olives, but fishing uh, uh, hares ear like this, great alternative as well. So um, the upper kern, we're going to be seeing uh, higher temperatures. And uh, my friends over at the Whitewater uh, Company say that we're kind of peaking out right now. So I believe this is probably our, our peak for the season. Um, although it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fantastic uh, upper current season, we're going to probably be back on the river fishing at full force in uh, the end of June, beginning of July, and uh, maybe sooner. Um, it's clear right now, so... Uh, we will be doing float trips uh, once the water levels get down to about uh, 1,200, uh, 1,000. Uh, we'll be doing float trips from the powerhouse down, which you guys just saw right there. And um, the small creeks, another great alternative. Um, we're definitely fishing the small creeks for golden trout and brown trout and golden rainbow hybrids. And uh, it's just a great time to be out in the outdoors. Here's a shot of uh, the beautiful mountain town. Kernville, California. Hey, you guys, thanks so much for listening. Make sure you subscribe. We're pushing 4,000 uh, member subscribers now, and uh, that's pretty amazing. So, really appreciate you guys. Check out the website, kernriverflyshop.com. Appreciate the support. Like and subscribe if you want to. Uh, hit that uh, super button down there and uh, donate a little bit that'd be awesome as well thank you so much for listening to the fishing reports talk to you next week